Sarnetta, what's up, man? Come on, man. You, yo, you wake up with that shit in your ear, man? Man, listen. Let me tell you something. God damn, come on, brother. Let me tell you something, right? You hating ass Uncle Ruckus Jr. Listen. Oh, right? Man, you're starting the name calling now, right? I'm just saying, man. You talking about my music. You, you attacking me when you attack my music, man. I'm telling man. the truth. I'm telling no, the you're truth. No, you not telling the truth. You hating. You hating. Black, you hating because you a hater. Black, you hating because you a hater. Everybody that don't like their bro is hating. Come on. That's not even real, man. You hating. You hating because you that's can't do it. That's not even real, man. You that's can't do it. Bullshit, you can't brother. do it. That's why you hating. Can't do it. Nope. Brother, my beats is way better than your beat. You silly. You silly. My you ain't got you ain't better. got you don't you don't have beat the first. Matter of fact, you beat, <laughs> you beat your feet you beat your feet off a hundred twenty fifth street. <laughs> every day. Yeah, what's up, man? What you doing, man? What's ha I'm talking to you on the phone right now because you just interrupted me. Oh man. Say I saved you, me. Just say I saved you. You saved me. Yeah. Yo, you a hater for real. That's why, that's why I made that joint. That's why I made that joint. Uh, uh, turkey bacon, <laughs> turkey faking. <laughs> yeah, where, where I hear you. Coming out the day of what? Um, yeah, I gotta pass down that way, but I, I only be it's down there. Day is your day, Black Friday, man. Listen, not for nothing, right? When you explain to individuals, right, that when they say, "Well, well, black mean death" in English, and I tell them, "Listen." This is a, a market that they brought us to. This is a giant business. And this is where people come to do business. This is why this is the land of opportunity to do business. You understand? So they, they don't understand that the market dominates this society. And if you, if you look at the strategies our ancestors employed when they were boycotting businesses like bus companies and stuff like that, that's, mm -hmm. that's attacking the market to make the market... Uh, make a social adjustment. You don't attack the social structure to get the society to change. You attack them where it hurt. They pocket. This is a business. So now, right. so understanding that, then you have to look at the business sense of black. The business sense of black it comes is an accounting term. It comes from the fact that your books are all balanced. So there's no red ink. You understand? Right. Showing that you that you're taking losses or, or that you're not making a profit, right? They they use red ink for that. So your company would be in the black, right? So this is where Black Friday comes from. I know where the, the terminology comes from in this society, but what I'm saying is that this is a goddamn market. This is how it began for us. So Well well brother, that'd be powerful to drop. Listen that would be powerful to drop today, and when you come through, give me a couple of minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be powerful. Uh, Did you tie it into the, to the Negro, the ignorant Negro, talking about don't vote and, well, and talk about the power of voting for your local. Listen. Involved in the local. Listen, that's what I was telling you. When you put up that silly ass video with that young man. You know what I'm saying? Talking. Yeah. Talk, that's, that's, that's hip hop style braggadocio, man. That's, that's being falsely stoked. 
you know, you you will notice that as a part of our culture, when we had like good musicians in a local area, other musicians would come to play with them, learn from them, and to challenge them in public. By by doing so, they would make their own names. You understand? Right. Now I don't know why this youngster think he gonna make a name by challenging me. I don't have a. I don't. I don't. I don't. That right there. Yo. Yeah, that right there will make not even let him get out. Yeah, because yo, not for nothing. I don't claim no titles. I don't claim no That's no true. honors. I don't claim no positions. I don't belong to no organizations, right? So challenging me, that means that he feels that the things that I'm saying carry weight. Because That's if he true. if he didn't if he didn't he wouldn't feel the need to to try to present opposition to him. Right. I'm just telling That's people. Good doubt. Yeah. If you want a good laugh tonight, yeah. between the hours of 9 and, let's say, 12 or, yeah, 11, yeah. tune in to Know the Last Radio Show tonight. Great tell them. Yo, listen. I like red. And, I like I like red and blue, man. But they they be niggering it up too much, man. Yeah, but listen to what I'm saying. Now what? I ain't, we ain't talking about that. The battle was gonna be on. You wanna laugh? Get their topic on. <laughs> you gonna have Sarah Super Teddy and Polite. Oh, on the radio Stay tonight. And Polite, hold up. Yeah, tonight. Hey yo. They gonna All be right. going in. I call Polite you. gonna try to tear city up. Teddy gonna be trying to get at him. Not for nothing, right? That's Polite is going. He's gonna expose himself tonight. Yeah, yeah, damn today. You're right. No, the reason the reason he's gonna expose himself tonight, right? And uh -huh. and I really want people to tune into that and catch that is because Polite, he's a he's an actor. You understand? Yeah. So when when he's on when he's on camera, he is acting a certain way and saying certain things. But when the camera's not around, he's just one of these little street dudes that be niggering himself up. That's right. the reason. That's the reason I asked him, was he still a nigger? When I spoke uh, to him, you understand? Yeah, said he's so, gonna get him to come listen, out the gate. Said he said he don't have to get him to come out of the gate when I'm not there. He's going to act like he acts. He only tried not to act that way because he was standing in front of me. Right. You understand? So uh -huh. people people will have the opportunity to hear him be him because that's what he's going to do. He's going to be him. And when he starts throwing nigga around, and then you got to reflect on the fact he said, me? I'm no nigga. <laughs> when he was talking to me, right? Uh -huh. So, so people people think people think I was I was I was off the mark, but no, I'm not off the mark. Um, until and unless we get straight and clear in our minds who the fuck we are, the enemy is just gonna call us names, and we'll fuck around and agree with them shits. You look at how many how many black people in this country right here, the USA. Take the white people's position when it comes to looking at, uh, uh, um, I don't want to say lower class, but I want to say economically disadvantaged uh, uh, black people in this country. And the reason they're economically disadvantaged, that's the reason they were brought here, to be economically disadvantaged. I don't know why they can't grasp this shit. It's so goddamn clear. They brought us to a goddamn market to exploit us. Why, if, if that was their purpose, why the fuck would they change? And since it hasn't changed, it's kind of obvious to anybody that's really paying attention that they ain't got no intentions of changing that shit. So if we don't do for ourselves, it'll never get done. Motherfuckers will be like, like them, them, man, listen. Sometimes it's real irritating because I don't be saying the complicated shit. I'm real easy and, and clear when I speak, and you can understand it. Don't call yourself stupid-ass names, especially in public, because that tells the people who hear you your mind state. And if you're in a battle, especially one in a society like this where the battle is mostly psychological, you have to be clear in your thought process. Wait a minute. 
these motherfuckers trick me. I have to employ tricknology against them too. You don't let them know what the hell you up to. That shit is crazy. Look, look. They talk about God and the devil all the time, right? And you hear this saying that the greatest trick the devil ever played was to make people think he didn't exist, right? Right. Listen to this shit here, Sonetta. We know for an absolute fact that people around the world copy our culture. They copy our music. They copy our style of dress. They copy the way we speak. They copy us. So now, if we recognize that people are copying us, and we're doing stupid shit, calling ourselves nigga, calling our women bitches, and they copy that shit. So now, if they copy the stupid shit, let's suppose we all agreed that we would do things that were, I don't know, helpful to us. We would act in a way that lifted us up, right? Do you know that the whole damn world would copy that? And would be doing things beneficial to us and wouldn't even realize that that's what they're doing? That's so for you to drop. You understand? Do you, son, do you realize, do you realize that even little uh, 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 white children that are being raised by racists would copy us like they copy our, our little rappers today and would be saying things that are beneficial to us and things that move us along the, pro the path to progress? And they wouldn't even realize that's what they're doing because they would just be copying us like they copy the stupid shit. No. Try to tell these dudes about psychology, man, and they don't have a fucking clue. Yo, it's irritating. Yo, I talk. Oh, okay, man. Hey, yo, I talk to you later. Sometimes try to explain things and mm, take me away from what I was doing. morning on the road, it was so foggy I had to drive slow, up in front of me, swerving into my lane, was a lane, I blew the horn, snapped him back to his senses, then the lane wanna drive fast, and it almost crashed, he must be in there drinking coffee or something, what is wrong with this dude? It is foggy as shit. He on I 95 going north of the clip. And he ain't paying attention. Did I mention I beat the horn? Try to reform his mental vision. You know, the horn to do that to you if you drive the car. Babe, trying to blow a horn and snap some cats out of this. Trance they seem to be in, walking around here, acting like it ain't nothing. And that's actually something that they say. What's up, my man? Ain't nothing. What it is? It's all good. You know these cats are brain dead. They walk around here, living black lives in America, and they think it's all good. And they ain't up to nothing. We should be up to something. What y'all think? Should we be up to something? I think so. 